Hi, this is Gail, and welcome to my channel. I thought I would show you a few more pockets. Just when I thought I was through, I came across some, and I'm like, ah, got to include these in my book. And they are similar to ones that I might have done in the past. Maybe a little improvement, and maybe a few little changes, and... I just thought they were worthwhile to include. So, first one, remember how we did this pocket here that opens up and then it opens all the way out so you can write? Well, someone did this one and you'll notice, oh, I just, I just glued it in so I had it pegged in a little bit. This one, it's the same except for you create this little flap here in the front. Now, in order for it to all hold down, I did have to glue this part down. So, it's not going to open up all the way. But maybe you don't need it to, okay? So, this one's super easy. Again, you need a square. And because I am trying to use up those wonderful 6x6 six six papers, because I have some 6x6 six six pads just sitting around, that's what I'm using. Now you're going to create this exactly like this one, except for when you get to this point, you're not totally done. You add one more step, okay? So I'm going to move this off, and... We will get started. Super easy peasy. Okay, so I have my 6x6. Six six. This is the side I don't really care about. I don't care for, so this is going to go on the inside of my envelope. So you notice I have my square, and I want to form triangles by folding over in this fashion. Okay, and then I just, yep, do my thing. Okay, and again, this is pretty much what we've been doing. Super easy. So now, I want to take this one, and I know with the lighting you probably can't see it, but I'm going to fold this one up to just at that line there, but not in it and not across it, just up to it. So when we fold, there's not going to be an issue, okay? All right, so I'm going to fold that back up. Now we're at the part where we make our sides. Now we want to make sure we have enough in here to make our cutesy little... Uh, closure. Okay, it doesn't have to be a lot, but okay, we want to make sure we crease those. And again, you can make this envelope as long or as short as you want. So that looks to be about even on either side. And I'm creasing I hope everybody's having a great day. It is Sunday here. It's been a lovely, mostly sunny day with a few little flurries, but nothing too bad, okay? And, well, I'll do that in a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to take this one, and I'm actually going to fold this back across just part way, kind of to the center of the envelope. Maybe you can, there we go, maybe if you see that, you'll see. There's the center. So I'm making a teensy triangle here. Gonna crease it. This is cardstock, so yeah. Then I'm gonna peel it back here, and I'm gonna open that up. And I'm going to smush it down. Open and smush. Open and smush. Now I'm going to crease it and crease it. And yep, 
Then I'm going to fold down my flap. Again, decide, you know, how much you want to fold it down or how little. Just make sure it's even. Mine's a little lopsided right now. Okay. Crease it. And yep, you tuck right inside that little, looks like a bird's beef, beak to me. Okay, but you notice it's still sort of gapping up a little bit. That's why I said you put a little glue here to hold it down. Now, if you don't want to do that, I suppose you could use a piece of Velcro, and then you could still open up the little envelope and write on it. So think about that if you want, okay? And so there's your little envelope, okay? Pretty neato. Pretty cute idea, huh? So there's that one. Just a variation on what we've already done. Okay, now let me show you the next two. And these, again, are super easy. I call these my camo ones because, I don't know, can you see where the pockets are? <gasps> I bet you can. <laughs> but, anyhow, let me share. Okay, this one has two pockets. It's got one here. And it's got one here. Okay. Now, this one is... Um... Four and a half wide by six inches tall. Four and a half by six, okay? Four and a half by six. Now, what you need is actually two pieces of paper that size. And I'll show you why in a second, okay? Now, this one is bigger, and it has three pockets. One here, one here and one here. And after it was all said and done, I noticed that I had glued the pockets on upside down, but to this paper. But you know what? It's okay. You can't really probably tell unless I point it out. Okay? And you're going to have tags inside, so does it matter? Not a whole heck of a lot, really. Okay, now this one is six inches by 8 inches, 6 by 8. So for that one, you could use an 8 by 8 pad and cut it down to that. In all honesty, you can make the pocket whatever size you want. I mean, if you want it to be a 4 by 4 or 5 by 5 or a 4 by 6 or whatever, you can do that. doesn't matter the size, truly, because you're going to take two. Whatever your final size is going to be, you need two sheets of paper that size. They don't have to be the same. I just kind of like, I call it the camo because, yeah, it kind of is. You got the three pockets. You can't really tell they're there. Hmm. Until you put something in them, right? Okay, so let me show you how easy this one is. Okay. So, yes, I'm using up those wonderful six by six inch paper pads and I have two that are exactly alike and I can make two or perhaps three pockets I think I was able to make three pockets out of that uh, bigger pocket because I had extra scraps so let's just focus on the two for now okay so what we're going to do is this. We're going to take the one that's going to be on top, and we are just going to tear across to create our pocket. I started in the corner, and I can decide oh, how deep do I want that first pocket to be. Okay, so there we have it. There's the first one. 
Okay, then I'm going to take this piece and put it down here like that. And there's the second one. Super easy peasy. I am going to distress and then I'm going to glue. Or I could sew. Okay, so first distress. And you know, I noticed I did not distress that other envelope, but you get the picture, right? Okay, these, uh, I think I want that. That's kind of jaggedy looking. There, that looks prettier, doesn't it? Now, be careful when you're tearing. You probably know this already, but the way that you tear will determine whether you have a lot of white showing on your tear if you have a paper that has a really distinguishable color, okay? If you pull up this way, you're more likely to get some of those just plain white pieces showing, but if you pull down like so, you won't have that white showing. That'll be on this side, see, instead. Okay, so let me finish inking. So I hope you've had a wonderful day. Like I said, it was, there were some flurries, but for the most part it was mostly sunny. See all those goobers coming off of this thing? This thing is just falling apart. It's like it was dry rotted to begin with. Not good. Okay, and now we just glue. So, get glue on the three sides. I always put my hand where I don't want to glue so I don't mess that up. And I apologize, oops, if there are shadows. I've been working on my lighting here, but I just can't seem to get it the way that I want it. Okay, so we have that one down, and let's see here. Okay, I'm going in to see if I can adjust my lighting. You don't know if that helps any. Let's just... Don't know if that's making it too dark. Kind of hard for me to tell. Uh, play with a bunch of them. Uh, it's not letting me mess with that one. So, we'll see what that does, okay? Hopefully it improves it. Don't know. Okay, I don't want that piece to be glued, so... For me, it's a little dark in here because of cutting back my overhead lighting, but maybe not for you all. We'll see. Okay. There. How easy is that pocket? So we have a pocket here and a pocket here, and then when we glue it down on the page, pocket here. Or if you prefer, pocket it over here, pocket it over here, whichever way you want to glue it down. Super easy peasy. Okay, last pocket that I want to show you today is this one. Now this one, I did go ahead and do sewing. I have been trying to get my sewing machine up and running. And um, so I did. And you have a pocket here. And a pocket here, and a pocket here, okay? And then if you want, pocket behind as well. So four pockets. This one 
is actually from a 6x6 six six paper pad. So I have three sheets of 6x6 six six in complementary colors. I don't know why I have three more. I must have forgotten I would already pulled the paper. Okay, so I am going to cut those in half and then I am going to show you how you do that portion. Okay, so let me find my all-in-one. My blade on my all-in-one is starting to have issues and it's getting dull and oh no, that just won't do, you know? Okay, now, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I have more than one there. So I'm going to cut at three inches. Okay, this goes out to six. Hello, Gail. And we want to cut, we want to leave three inches. Okay, there. All right, so here's one on this one. Does it matter? Just give me three. Three. And this one. Okay, there's my three. All right, but now I have to worry about up here at the top. So how do we do that? Well, let me show you. Okay, the first one, I want to measure the distance here. How far down did we go? And two inches. So, the bottom one you're not going to have to cut or do anything with. Set that to the side. The middle one, we're going to, what I did anyhow with a pencil, I made a mark where the two inches is on that side. Okay, so go over here. Two inches right about there. And again, this doesn't have to be like super, super, you know, perfect. What I'm going to do is go from that two inch mark to the tip. And I'm going to slice that off. So, going to put my two incher on there, rotate it until I'm at the point, and slice. You see how that hesitated? That is getting dull. I'm going to hang on to this because I might be able to use it if I want to. Okay, so now that one goes like so. Now I have to look at, whoops, this next one. And I'm going to say how far from the bottom? Is that two inches? Let us see. It is two inches. So I'm going to come to the bottom, find two inches. Okay, right about there. And then I am going to slice and dice up to the corner. So from here up to the corner. Oh, one of my little birdies is going to lose its body. Oh, well, that is life, isn't it? Okay, so on the two, and I just leave that in place and rotate over to the point, and boom. And save that because I might want to use it. Okay, and I'm going to erase my little dot there. And again, if you're not absolutely perfect, doesn't matter. Nobody's going to go wrong with the tape measure and see if you are exact or not. 
Okay, so I forgot something. Oops, what did I forget? I forgot that on this side I needed to come down some. And how tall should this one be? It should be, I bet that's four. Nope, four and a half. Four and a half. So I've got to redo that part. Oopsie. So I've got to find four and a half over here. There's four and a half. That's right there. So now I'm going to come from this dot to the four and a half. Okay, so I goofed. Sorry. Okay, here to that dot. Ugh, my birdie lost more. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so there. Now we have it. Now, I have these cutoffs. Do I want to add those in? Nah, because I don't want to lose more of my bird there. How about here? No, I don't want to lose the bird. So, I'm going to say, today, not going to take those triangles and make another pocket. Okay, now, if I was sewing, what I would have to do is at this point, I need to sew just across here and just across here. Then, I'm going to put them all together and then sew all the way around, okay? All the way around. Then it's together. But, since I'm not going to sew right now, I am instead going to glue. So, I'm going to glue my big part on. Oops, but what do I need to do first? And the same way before you sew, if you're going to distress, now's the time to distress it. Okie dokie. So, you know, I really only need to do, oh well, just do it. It won't kill me. A little extra distressing, perhaps, isn't going to kill me now, is it? Okay, there's that. Okay, I'm not going to do that one, okay? So, because I'm going to think about it, and when they're together, I need to distress that part. That's already done. Now I'm going to distress the bottom, and catch my corner, catch here. See, that sponge is just totally falling apart, and that's already done. Okay, so, now we glue, right? Okay, pull that off. Let's do the long part. Ugh, I hate that brown stuff. Leaves stains. Ooh, that wasn't very close to the line, now was it? Oh, goodness, leaving stains everywhere. It's a good thing that won't show. Okay. Just don't like that stuff. Alrighty. Got that down. Now, hand where I don't want to glue, yeah, glue the edges on this one. And of course you can decorate and do all of that, but I'm not going to take time to do that with you because I don't want my video to be forever long. Okay. And some of these, I think I saw Gail Augustinelli do them. But she saw someone else do them, and I will 
put whoever I saw, I'll find the reference and put it in my video for you so you can check those people out. Because it's always fun to discover new channels, right? Okay. So, pocket here, pocket here, and then pocket behind. Okay, and if you don't have a design down here and you want to add that other triangle here or two, go for it. The more pockets, the merrier. So let's review what we've done. We have this pocket sewn and unsewn. We have the torn pocket. My variations on that. And then we have this little envelope with the flap. So those are what's up and coming and let me see if I can find spots and I'll do a final flip through of this and then you'll only see it again when I put things in it. Okay, so and again it's really fluffy because I have um, some pockets that are going to be going in other journals in the winter journal soon the stuff will be out. So the cover Okay, and let's see where we have a room to insert these. Now, um, remember we have this one that pops up. And then we have the variation on that where you put it in the little book. And you pull it out. And it pops up. And again, you can put whatever you want in there. And you can write in there if you like. Okay, um, here, this was one of the pockets from uh, Dee Dee's first tag challenge, and so I just brought those and put a good my book wherever I had space. So look back and see if you have these. A tag goes in the bag. Um, a tag here in the outer pocket, and this is a bag, and it's a pretty cool thing. Okay, now over here, I have room for one or two. Should I? No, I can't put, well, no, mm, no. But I could put this one, couldn't I? It's going to stick out a little bit, though. But that's okay. So we'll put that one. And we will glue where where our thumb where our thumb is not. Okay. So And I'm sliding that way over because I have that hole to deal with. And I will hole punch that um, after I'm done here on the video. Okay. So I'll go over and hole punch that so it fits better. Okay, then we have this pocket. This also is a pocket from... Dee Dee's first challenge. You have the little pockets on the front, the side pockets with the cute little tags that pull out that way. Then behind that we have yet another pocket that also has a tag inside of it. So, pretty cool beans, huh? Okay. Oops, I want that to stick out a little so I know it's there. Maybe I need to put a tab on that one, huh? Oh, look, I have a spot here. What shall I put in here? Well, maybe I'll take time to put this one. Okay. And I'm going to leave spot behind. So...
I can tuck something else. Gets caught in those stitches and doesn't want to move on. two, three pockets, and the one behind. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and then on this page, I added, remember this one that has the tab, and it fits over the page? It's magnetic, and it has room for a pocket in here, pocket here, and you could use it like a belly band, and a pocket fits behind. Okay, and then this pocket two, and then in it I just slipped another one of those until I use it somewhere, okay? Then on this side I made that same pocket, but I made it narrower and it's a tuck, and then I have another one of those over-the-top pockets, okay? And then I have some stuff to the side here, too, in the top envelope. Okay, then we have this pocket. This pocket, where's my tag? Pocket here, pocket here, and pocket behind. Okay. We also did this. Okay, and that one is one that has pocket here, then a pocket here. Okay. And, yes, a pocket here. Okay. And, I mean, you could even add a little notepad in here if you wanted. So, that has a lot of possibilities, that little pocket. Alrighty. Then, over here, we have another one of those. Pocket here, pocket here, and pocket on, pocket on the side. And this is another one. Pocket. Pocket pocket. It blends in so well you can't even tell it's really there. This one is reminds me of a belly band. Three tucks though. Tuck here, tuck here, tuck behind the slider belly band. Okay, so that one's pretty neato. Then over here we have this cute little corner pocket that opens all the way out into a page, right? So you can write to your heart's content on that. My grandson's favorites. Then this is a pocket that uh, stuck. Little circular pocket there. Pocket in front, pocket behind, inside the pocket, uh, behind the pocket, and then the same inside and then behind. Okay, so a lot going on there. So that's pretty cool. And this is one that we made before in Dee Dee's other challenge. This one is Dee Dee's special creation. And that one has pocket here, pocket here, pocket behind, pocket in here, pocket here, a little tuck here, and a very little tuck there. Okay? Oh, and I think I have room up here for this. So let's put that in right now. Okay, and of course I already put one on the other page, but I have two and I have room, so why not, right? 
and it kind of goes with the coloring of these pretty printables that I believe are from Antique Papery. Alrighty, so there's those. Then we go over here. This is that big flippy page that has... Oops, let me scoot it. Tuck here. Tuck here. Tuck in the top. Tuck here. Tuck here. And of course you can access the top from here. Then you could put something in here, right? So, yeah. Okay, then over here, we have these. These were embossed. You open it up, and it's two pockets. Okay, where's my little piece? What did I do with my tag? Oh, here it is. Here's one up here, anyhow. So, pocket here, pocket here, and then when you glue it in, pocket behind, right? Pretty nifty neato. Okay. And there's more of those, okay? This one reminds me of the collars. So pocket here, yeah, pocket here, and pocket here. Okay, then I have another one over here. Pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. Okay, then we come to these cuties. This is the pull-out one. Yep, it pops up. And oh, look. You can put all kinds of goodies inside. like that one a lot. Then over here, we have a pocket behind. Uh, okay, and I'm not going to pull that all the way out. And inside that pocket is a pocket. Or a tag, rather. Yeah. Oh, well. I guess I'm doing it. And then I'll put that back over. Okay, then we have a pocket in here, or a tag rather, and that's a long pocket. Oops, and now I'm going to struggle to get it back in. Okay, there it goes. Then we have a pocket here with a cutesy little tag. And a pocket here with another cutesy tag. Sorry about the shadows. Okay. Then this one is one that I have a whole separate video devoted to. It's one of the first videos that I ever did. And I did put the link in the description box back a while ago for it. So you have a tuck here. And you have a tuck here in the top and guess what behind it you have a tuck okay then you have a tuck in the side come back over here tuck here tuck in the top again as we said tuck here of course tuck in the top tuck in the side again tuck here and then tuck up in the top, okay? So, there's that one. And then I put another one on the edge over here to show you you could attach it like so if you wanted to. Okay. And I'm thinking that might be a good place to put that one. What do you think? I think it works. And where's my glue? Here it is. I know I already have one sample of it, but here's one that isn't sewn. So if you don't sew, 
you see it can look just as cute. Okay. Alrighty, then this one, this one I really love because these, there's a place for a tag there and a place for a tag there and then behind as well. But oops, they flip up for journaling. Is that clever or what? Love that. And then I have one over here, and you can see these tags hold them down. And these are just my tea dyed paper. And that holds that one down. And then there's one in behind, right? Okay. This one is a little flippy outy, and this one actually holds another one. How about that? Same thing. So with this one, you have pocket here, and you flip it over, and you have a pocket in here, and you could put a pad of paper here to hang down. You can do a lot of different things with this one. And I think Gail Agostinelli and maybe Tina from Shabby Dabby Dude I have done videos on those as well. Okay, so then this is one from Dee Dee's first pocket challenge. And inside here I have several tags, postcard, etc. And this was some of my uh, was supposed to be tie-dyed, <laughs> tie-dyed wax paper, and then you can put a tag behind, okay? This one, this was using some book pages, and this one, pocket here, pocket in here, pocket behind, and it opens out and you can write on it if you would like. So if you use regular paper or a double-sided paper or one-sided with plain white so you can write on one side, that's cool too. And this again is the same pocket, okay? This one, you have a tuck here tuck here, tuck here, tuck here, and, oh, tuck up under here, and it opens out. It opens out so you can write all over it, okay? So, there's that one. Over here, now again, this is from Dee Dee's first pocket challenge. This one, there's a pocket behind, there's this pocket in here. There's a pocket here. Okay. Easy peasy. This one is another one that untucks and you can write on the whole sheet of paper. So, comes apart, down, and then all of these open up as well. Okay. But, this tucks inside, like so. Pretty cool, huh? Alrighty. Over here, this is that envelope that I showed you earlier. This is just like it without the tuck, so I don't need to show you those again. This one opens out, and you can write all over it. But... I don't know why it's that way, because I think it needs to go that way. And this tucks right in, and then you can write all over it, okay? This one, we have a pocket behind, we have a pocket here, and we have the pocket here. 
Okay. So hopefully you're going through and checking off these. And remember, you can pause it and go back if you haven't been able to find what you were looking for. This one is a little flippy book. And this has a pocket there. It's got a pocket up here at the top. Flips over. You have a little flap to write. And here you have a tuck. And then here you have a pocket. Not quite enough room is there. Okay, this, this is like a very big sheet that opens all the way out. You can tuck inside here, like I have done, and then these are more of the same. But what I did with this one was I added these little tickets to hold these closed. Okay? So... get that there and then there and that closes up and voila and then over here this is another one of those flippy ones so you have pocket here you have this flips down and you can write you have a pocket there flips over another pocket here another tuck spot another pocket here so this was just one to show you attached in that fashion. This one, Corey did go back and do another video showing the dimensions that she used, which is great. So remember you have a tuck here, tuck here, tuck here, tuck here, and also a tuck behind. So you can get a lot of mileage out of that one as well. Now, this one is one from Dee Dee's previous pocket challenge. This is made out of a window envelope. So you have a pocket behind. You have this slanty pocket, which actually has two openings because it's an envelope. So you have this little pocket behind, and then the other one where these fit in. You can do some cutesy things in the envelope, and then inside the envelope, yes, we have a card. And I can't get my finger <laughs> on it. Well, it's in there. I just can't. My fingernails are grabbing it right now. And I don't know how long you want to wait, but anyhow, there's a card in there. You have to trust me on that, and it comes out. Okay. Over here, remember this one is a tuck, pocket tuck. And, okay, it's going to be like that now, I see, huh? And this goes over the page, and on the other side, there's the other side of the pocket. And here, we have your music paper version, and then this one. And what I did with that turquoise one is I tucked it inside the pocket so I didn't have to glue it. it. It would, you know, so I could fit two on a page. Okay, this pocket also can be made out of an envelope. Pocket here, pocket here. And it wraps around the side of the page. And you have your pocket in the top and pocket here. And then I did, these are the same, they're just in different colored papers, okay? And again, not enough room to put this. Okay, so then we have this version. We have a pocket here. Then we have pocket here. And then behind, we have a pocket. Okay, so that's from one of Dee Dee's earlier pocket challenges. This also, these also are from earlier pocket challenges. So you have a pocket here, pocket here, pocket here behind, okay? It's a tight one. Alrighty, so we have these left. So 
let's put them on. Let's put one of them on the page, shall we? And hear my computer crunching. Oh my word, it's hungry. Okay. So this is the flip through for my sample pocketbook. So, I won't show you the other pages anymore. Um, but if I do add a pocket, I will be putting it in here. And when I come across something new that I think you might be able to use, I will definitely share it with you. Okay. So, we're going to call that good enough. And... I'm going to hang on to that other one because I think I'm going to use that in one of my journals. So I do have a couple pages left that I can use. I can always add more. And again, in the back pocket here, I do have this because this goes with a bag pocket that I haven't come across yet. But I made it with my Woodland Journal, so I will find it. It's probably in my Woodland Project book, even though... I uh, have finished that main project. I have enough left. I can make a little one um, or a thinner one, and I might just do that. So there's the flip through of my sample pocket book. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that um, you'll be able to use these pockets and um, really recommend making some of these. I've made a tag book now, and I'll have to make yet another one, I'm sure. Um, but, yeah, really helpful. So, take care. Get out there and create something. Make some art. Find your joy, whatever that may be. Stay safe and stay healthy. And until next time, bye-bye.